I have had saints request that I do a video on this particular religious diva several times in the past five years. Still, I was waiting until compelled by the Lord to do so. I have now been compelled. I didn't think I would ever be able to put this one together because it would entail watching endless video clips of this religious diva, which I could not stomach. However, there have been quite a few saints who have blazed the trail for me over the last five years and done a lot of research. So a big thank you to all those who have gone before me when it comes to this woman. The sheep need to be warned and all pastors need to be aware of this seducer of the sheep, this fleecer of the flock. I have been to churches in the past where different congregation members have been followers of these types of Jezebels and never was a word spoken from behind the pulpit to warn the sheep. Many shepherds, it seems, are not in the business these days of keeping the sheep protected from wolves such as this woman, and many are wolves themselves. It seems in this day and hour that it is left up to the sheep to warn their fellow brethren. As if it's not enough for Anita Fuentes to have a YouTube channel, which she has had for several years, that she uses as her income by fleecing the flock, she gets at least 5,000 hits on each video she puts up, and she must have far more followers than that through YouTube alone. But she also has a Facebook page that states she has over 4,000 friends. It also shows her as having 26,000 plus followers and 155,000 plus fans on Facebook. As if that does not afford her a healthy enough base through which to produce a living through donations of her faithful ones and fans, she now shamelessly has a GoFundMe page. It was the discovery of this GoFundMe page that the Lord used to compel me to do this video. You can read on Anita's GoFundMe page the following, and you can pause this video to go through her list of needs. This is totally outrageous, but the sad thing is so many mind-numbed little robots with no discernment are going to fill her pockets with cash and she will get what she wants unless God intervenes. As of today, July 3rd, 2016, 81 people have donated a total of $6,000 to her in six days. Anyone that tells you that you need to donate to them so they can have a YouTube channel is a straight-up liar, a fraud, a deceiver, and an extortioner. Anyone can get on YouTube for free and post all the Word of God exhortations and encouragement they want. Unfortunately, these who the likes of Anita refer to as faithful have been conned by the best and the brightest. These types of Jezebels, like all religious divas, have a seducing spirit, what the world calls charisma. These types of women solicit funds to gain mammon and live like queens at the expense of the sheep. They also use condemnation and mind games to make sheep feel guilty enough to give to them. Those that do donate, they call the faithful. The thing with Anita, as with all religious divas, is she's vain. And she wants you to donate so she can have the best professional lighting and cameras to capture her in the best light. Even though she seems to be quite the looker to begin with. And like all religious divas, Anita never found a camera she didn't like. 
with her various poses, she's liable to attract the wrong type of man. She best beware. Though I feel that she knows full well exactly what she's doing. Anita is prepared for her enemies. She has, it seems, quite a few weapons. Now, I'm not against a man or a woman having a gun for protection, but a woman of God? I thought God protected his own. You can see her at target practice with the big gun on YouTube. I shall post the link below. I carry a weapon. Evangelist Anita carries a weapon. I, 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 I carry my weapon. And it's loaded. It's loaded. There's a bullet right here. Got one in the chamber. It's loaded. I carry mine on me all the time. I'll do that later. I carry mine on me all the time. If I ever, God forbid, anybody ever comes at me and wants to punch me in my face, and they do so, and they do it more than once, and I have my weapon, I will discharge it because I value my life. I value my life. Nowhere in the Bible does it say to allow somebody to punch you in the face over and over again. Nowhere does it, does it say that. I value the life that God has given me. I'm a mother and I'm a wife and I want to go home to my children and my husband. As you heard her say, nowhere in the Bible does it say if someone hits you to let them strike you again and again. It is written that Jesus said, But I say unto you that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. And this woman presumes to teach the word of God and does not even know the simplest of truths. If she knew God, she would fear him and she would not do what she is daring to do that tempts God. I have several friends who have lost children. I have lost an adult child myself just a little over a year ago. All were a tragic loss. However, none of my friends nor myself have done what Anita has done in regards to a son she lost. What this woman has done I find the most tasteless, exploitive, disgusting thing I have discovered about her. She has a website devoted to this poor child that she had pass away. And she has designed this page with music and pictures to tug at the heartstrings of her donors. I will post the link below this video so you can go to the website and see for yourselves. Anita, seen here with her close friend Paul Bagley, another disgusting wolf, is all about warning the sheep and hyping up the people. Anita is a follower and supporter of Benny Hinn. Now what does that tell you? I have also observed her about the time of the death, after the death actually, of Jan Crouch doing a little dedication to Jan. What does that tell you? Personally, I believe that Anita has great and large aspirations for herself. Perhaps she has plans to further expand her reach. We shall just have to wait and see. You can find all manner of videos that expose differing aspects of Anita Fuentes and her life and beginning on YouTube. Some are very helpful, some a little strange but yet informative, some offer public records about her, others critique her videos. There are enough red flag warnings around this woman that any Christian with two cents worth of discernment ought to know to flee her while they have the opportunity. What I would say to Anita is, 
I don't think you are ready for the day and hour in which we are living. And you need to stop fleecing the flock of God. And you need to repent.